Hey everyone, this is Steve from Taxopress, which is the best plugin for organizing and managing all the tags and categories on your WordPress site. In this video, I'm going to give an answer to a question we had from a Taxopress user. They wondered what they could do about the uncategorized category, which was added to all the posts on their site. First things first, it is actually impossible to get rid of all the categories on a post. You have to have at least one. So if you edit this particular Hello World post and you uncheck the uncategorized box, you click update and it comes right back. You go inside the post and you try and remove it from the editing screen. You can try and do it this way too. You can go to the categories box and you can uncheck uncategorized, click update, and it's gonna come right back when you refresh the page. So you have to have at least one category. And when you add a new post, this is going to be the default category that is added to it. At the moment, I have uncategorized unchecked, but when I save my new post, it automatically becomes checked. So you can't get rid of this default category, but you can modify it in some ways. One option, and this is probably the simplest, is to create a new category. And you can simply assign all your posts to this category. On the main post screen, you can use the bulk edit option to move all of those posts to your new category. However, there are a couple of limitations to that. Whenever you add a new post, you're still going to get uncategorized set as the default. Even though we have my new category and uncategorized down here, only one of those is going to be automatically added. It's uncategorized. There is a solution available with the WordPress core. If you go to settings in your WordPress admin menu and then go to writing, you can change the default post category. Now, whenever I add a new post, my new category will be the default option that's added to every post. So option one is to change the default category. Another equally simple option is to rename uncategorized. In this case, I've given it a name which might be more reflective of my site. So option one, you can choose a new category. Option two, you can rename uncategorized. And option three is possible with the TaxoPress plugin. This option allows you to choose multiple default terms. For example, we can add news, sports, and movies as categories. These might be useful categories for my site and if I go to Taxopress and Taxonomies, on this screen, I can hover over Categories and click Edit, and there's an option called Default Terms here. This allows me to set multiple default terms. I have News and Sports and Movies as the categories I've just created. Those are going to be the defaults for all new posts now. I go to Posts, Add New Post, and there on the right hand side of the screen, movies, news and sports are all checked automatically and uncategorized and those older categories are not checked. I've changed the defaults. This ability to customize the default terms and choose multiple default terms is one of many useful features you'll find in the TaxoPress plugin. It's a comprehensive solution for managing tags and categories on your site. You can use AI to automatically add correct terms after scanning your content. You can use TaxoPress to create a list of related posts that share the same term. And there are all sorts of management tools in there as well, such as the ability to merge terms, rename terms, or delete terms that are not being used. All of those features are in the free version of TaxoPress. If you haven't tried it today, head over to wordpress.org and grab your free copy of this powerful plugin.